Yo, 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 Pierre, you wanna come out? What's good with y'all, man? It's Camry on another video, straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, man. Let's get it. We are on Demon Time, and as usual, you see the title of the video. This is how to get girls. If you ugly, bruh, if you if you if you want attractive, bruh, this is how you can still get girls, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be lonely. Now, um, I'm gonna break it down, bruh. I'm gonna break it down in depth. I'm gonna go into depth on the mindset that you have, the mindset that you need to have, and the game that you need to run in order to get girls when you are unattractive physically, bruh. But what I want y'all to understand is that if you really think you ugly, bro, this video is not going to make you feel better at all. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? You can go to someone else's video, you know what I'm saying? You can go to positive, uh, positive Pam's video if you want to be pampered and be uplifted you know what i'm saying and told lies so that you can feel better about yourself but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to tell you the cold harsh truth and i'm going to tell you the cold hard truth that ain't nobody else gonna want to tell you your mom ain't gonna tell you your homies ain't gonna tell you no females ever gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you the cold truth i'm gonna tell you how it is and then i'm gonna tell you what you can do about it bro now let's get into it dog your mindset understand that if you feel that you are ugly if you feel that you are unattractive nobody cares okay you've already defeated yourself up here you've already defeated yourself in your mind and understand that ain't nobody here listen bro you got to stop giving people the benefit of the doubt because people are not inherently nice people bro ultimately humans are selfish creatures we do things for our own benefit do things that are going to further our lives and uh, further the lives of our family we do things based on what we want you know what i'm saying like that's just how humans work that's how we work as people bro so if you feel that you unattractive bro please do not have some kind of pity party oh i'm ugly i'm this i'm that and try to get people feeling bad for you bro that never works that never works a lot of y'all out there be even y'all even be ranting the females be oh my goodness well i'm not this i'm not that you know what i'm saying be trying to make her feel sorry for you to the point where she gives you a chance man that shit don't work bro come on bro that shit don't work that it don't work bro Okay, all that's going to land you is you, you, you're just going to end up in the friend zone. You're just going to end up in a position that you don't want to be in, bro. Like, that's just that's just that's just the facts. That's just the truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you thinking you, you over here thinking that you're going to have some 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 fairy godmother pull up on you one day and bless you with good looks like you Cinderella and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Give give you. A, 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 a face with no acne and all of this you know what i'm saying give you you the flyest jays and and you just gonna be like cinderella like nah bruh come on bro ain't no magic this ain't pixar nickelodeon cartoon network bro you're not a disney princess you gotta start living in reality bro the facts is the cold hard truth is that nobody cares nobody gives a damn about you thinking that you ugly nobody cares the world don't care the world already don't care about men in general you know what i'm saying like who cares who cares you know what i'm saying no one feels bad for you like let me let me let me give you all some some perspective bro on what i'm really trying to tell you when you go to la you'll see a whole bunch of homeless people you know skid row all of that you know what i'm saying and you'll look at them and you'll be like dang like you know they've been through some unfortunate situations and and, and so and so like dang dang that sucks but at the end of the day ultimately you're gonna keep going bro you know what I'm saying? You're going to keep going and, and do what you got to do. That's not going to stop you from going and getting groceries and bringing them back home to your family. That's not going to stop you from, from going to to uh, to Applebee's and having a meal. You know what I'm saying? Like, just seeing them homeless people, you don't really care. You might feel sorry for them in the moment, but you don't really, really care. Because if you really, really cared, then you would actually do something to help these homeless people. And even people that do go and help these homeless people. You got to understand that humans are selfish, bro. A lot of people help the homeless and help the less fortunate because it makes them feel better. They don't actually care about the person that they're helping. It makes them feel better on the inside, bro. All right. And now there's some, I'm not saying everyone is like that. There are some people that actually do care. But what I'm trying to get, a, the point I'm trying to get across is that most don't that's just the truth most don't care most don't care okay so stop expecting people to care about your situation stop because if they don't even care about a homeless person that has no house and nowhere to live and couldn't care less about how they look they just trying to get their next meal if people don't care about them they but they bro they for sure don't care about you feeling like you ugly they don't they for sure don't care about you 
being defeated in the in, uh, in your own mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're like, okay, you ugly, cool, whatever. They gonna keep going on with their day. That's just the truth, bro. So now that you're done with your whole pity party, now that you're done uh, feeling sorry for yourself, bro. Let's get what I need y'all to understand is that there's always a silver lining, right? All hope is not lost unless you want it to be lost. Okay, because if you want it to be lost, then you ain't gonna get up and do nothing about it. If you think you unattractive, if you think you ugly, bro, first of all, understand that looks are subjective, bro. Looks are subjective. You know what I mean? So like, so what that she didn't think that you was attractive? Cool. That girl might. So what she didn't like you? That girl might. You know what I'm saying? Like, go where you're wanted. You know what I mean? Stop trying to force yourself into situations where you know this chick, you know what I mean? You know this chick don't even like you. This you know this chick man don't don't find you attractive physically. You know what I'm saying? But you keep going for her and other chicks like her, bro. Go where you're wanted, dog. Never be around people that don't want you around. You feel me? Like 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 bro, it's just like fitting in in high school, fitting in in in, in school in general, you know what I mean? It work too. You know what I mean? Would you would you rather hang around people that's the cool crowd, but you don't really fit in? You know what I'm saying? You just there. They kind of pick on you. They kind of bully you. You kind of the outcast. But you there with the you there with the in crowd though. So you just gonna stay there. You gonna keep hanging around them people, or you gonna go where you're wanted? You gonna go around the people that's more like you? Maybe you more introverted. Maybe you like Dungeons and Dragons. Whatever. You gonna find people that's like minded. Find people that's like you that actually do like you. You know what I'm saying? Find the chicks that find you attractive physically, dog. They're out there. There's billions of people in this world, bro. Billions and billions and billions of people in this world, bro. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Go out there. And if you really want to date, understand that there's chicks out there that will find you attractive or at least decent, dog. You just have to look, bro. You just got to look. There may be even be some super attractive chicks that you never even thought would think that you are attractive. You know what I mean? That will think that you're attractive. You feel me? Like, everyone has their own different tastes. Everyone has their different tastes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like some, there's some chicks like 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 Zendaya, for example. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's ugly, but you know what I mean. Personally, my taste, like I'm 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 not really, you know what I mean. The Zendaya is like, oh my god, that's oh my god, I would do anything for like you know what I'm saying. Like she ain't super duper, you know what I mean. Great, she ain't that. She not at the top of my list. You know what I'm saying? That's just an example of taste. That's just an example of my personal preference. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you got, maybe you ugly because you got a big nose. You know what I'm saying? You got a huge nose that covers most of your face, bro. Some chicks might like, they might like dudes with big noses. You feel me? Like, it's always, looks is subjective, bro. Looks is always going to be subjective, bro. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, bro. Get about your feelings, bro. Okay? And understand, too, that you can also work on yourself, man. Stop thinking that just because someone told you you was physically unattractive or you feel that you're physically unattractive for whatever reason, that there's absolutely nothing that you can do, right? You may not be able to physically change your bones and your and your structure but what you can do is do things like improve your physique improve the physique of your body you know what i'm saying if you fat lose some weight if you underweight gain some weight whatever you know what i'm saying lose weight in your face or gain weight in your face whatever you need to do whatever you feel that you need to do improve your overall physique you know what i'm saying take care of your body more eat the right things improve your diet so that you won't have acne all up on your face. Start washing your face and moisturizing. Exfoliate. Switch up your hairstyle. You ain't got to have that same, that same nappy, worn out, tired hairstyle you've been rocking, bro. Like, just because just because someone thinks you ugly or just because you think that you're ugly, bro, don't mean that you have to act ugly. Don't mean that you have to stay in character, bro. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Find some. Find a new hairstyle. Dress better. Dress clothes that fit you. Not necessarily clothes that are popular. Dress clothes that look good on you. You feel me? It's that simple. All right, start lotioning up. Start having dry skin. You know what I mean? Things like this. You can improve. You know what I'm saying? It may not. I'm not. I'm not. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, you you going to go. You going to 100% have a glow up if you do these things. You feel me? But they will for sure help. They're for sure going to help. Having a good physique for surely helps. Having a clear face and clear skin for surely helps. Grow a beard if you can, maybe. That might help. You know what I'm saying? But, like, give yourself a fighting chance, bruh. Like, stop being so defeated. Stop being so defeated, bruh. Get up and do something. Now, let's get to the next part, dog. Confidence and social anxiety. I understand what you are going through. I understand what it's like to, to feel like you unattractive, bro. 
the reason that you don't have confidence is because of what you've been told or what people say to you, whatever. You don't believe in your looks, whatever the case may be. And I'm not just going to sit up here and be like, oh, just have all the confidence in the world. Because the truth is, you don't have all the confidence in the world because of your physical look. Because of how you look, bro. Because of what other people are saying. Because you don't have chicks around you. I understand that. I understand that. Right? But what I also understand is that that stems from social anxiety. Your lack of confidence stems from social anxiety. If someone right now, today, were to tell me, if someone were to come up to this window, window of my car right now, and tell me that I was ugly, I would just be like, okay, and I would keep it pushing. Because guess what? I don't believe I'm ugly. I don't believe I'm ugly. Everything is mindset, dog. Everything is mindset. Okay, so you got to get rid of that social anxiety. What I mean by social anxiety is stop listening to and stop caring so much about what other people think of you. Okay, social anxiety stems from you placing other people on pedestals, dog. Stop doing that. Who cares what a popular girl, number one, said to you? So what if she rejected you? Who cares what popular Jack number two said? She, he said that you look like, uh, 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 you, you, you look like a goddamn uh, gopher or something like that. Like, bro. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Who cares? That's their opinion on what you look like. I already told you looks is subjective. What you crying for, bruh? Oh my God. He's got, he's got, they said, they said, I'm going to be that. Who cares, bruh? Stop with the social anxiety. Stop caring what people say, bruh. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't have confidence. You're not even giving yourself a fighting chance, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Work on yourself a little bit. You would you really want to develop some confidence, bro? Work on yourself, bro. Work on yourself and stop caring what other people think so much, bro. And put yourself in uncomfortable situations too. Put yourself in social situations, dog. Put yourself in social situations to where you got to talk to people. Get over that social anxiety so that you can develop some confidence. You know what I mean? You out you out in public. Don't be so nervous to talk to the Starbucks barista. Just talk to her with you know what I'm saying? Talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe even, you know what I mean? You can practice. You out in public, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to learn, work on your social skills, talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Do something, bro. Do something. You know what I'm saying? But don't just admit defeat. Don't just admit defeat. And you got to understand on a confidence note, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, looks are subjective and all that. What you also have to understand is this, dog. When it comes to females, bro, you got to understand that a lot of them is insecure about themselves. Some chicks put on pounds and pounds and make pounds and pounds of makeup to the point where they're literally drawing a whole new face on every single day. They go to school, they wake up hours early for school just to draw on a new face. And then they want to have courage, want to have all the confidence in the world. But don't pay them no mind. Man, half of these chicks is putting on pounds and pounds of makeup, got to get surgery just so they can feel confident and look good, bro. Don't let them get you down, bro. Who cares what she thinks? She fake anyway. The, 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 the chick that called you ugly probably plastic. She got mad makeup cream and whatever they use and lashes and, and nails and, and all this just so that she can look good. Bro, you can't do that. You a male. You are a man. All right? You got you got nuts. Nigga. Like, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You just you rock with what you got, bro. Rock with what you got. Proudly. Proudly. You know what I'm saying? Like, who, like, just give yourself a fighting chance, bruh. You know what I mean? Stop being so down on yourself. And now, another thing, too. Now, when it comes to game, right? What I need y'all to understand is this, dog. I told you that you're going to have to get out and you're going to have to talk to people, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so scared to talk to people. You know what I mean? Because that's that I understand being physically unattractive is going to stop you from doing that. It's going to make you feel like you are inferior to others. It's going to make you feel like you got to, you know what I'm saying, put others on a pedestal and stuff like that. You got to put yourself in more uncomfortable situations, dog. Right? Now, here's the thing. When I talk about, you know, approaching women in my video, because we, you, I, I, listen, you click on the video because you want to pull women, right? So let's get into the game part, uh, portion of this, bro. You want to pull women? Understand this, dog. I talk about, I, I say that the preferred method for approach is choosing signals. You are unattractive. You're not going to get any choosing signals, bro. That's just the honest truth. You're not getting choosing signals because you're not even average looking. You below average looking. You think you're ugly. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, no, you're beautiful. Shut up. No, nah, you think you're ugly, so you're ugly. You're ugly. You're average to below average looking, so you're not going to get choosing signals. Women are not going to look your way. You have to cold approach. You have to cold approach. As much as I don't necessarily like cold approaching, I don't like cold approaching because I can afford that. 
You, on the other hand, you below average looking, average to below average. So therefore, you are going to have to go up to women and cold approach, bro. Now you're gonna be at a disadvantage, but if you really want to date chicks, that's just what you have to do, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just gonna have to do that. I don't know what to tell you, cause you're not gonna get choosing signals unless you got mad amounts of, unless you have money in mass. If you got money in mass and you can flex it and you can show it, all right, then maybe you could, you know what I mean? Maybe you're going to get some choosing signals. But if you're unattractive, you know what I'm saying? You're probably not going to get choosing signals. And I did say that looks is subjective, yes. But if you really are unattractive, understand that choosing signals are going to be very few and far in between. If you're unattractive and you're really going to wait on choosing signals, bro, you are going to be waiting for years and years and years and years and years. You're going to, you, you know what I mean? You're not going to be as successful with women as you could be. You're going to have to cold approach, dog. You're going to have to do that, bro. So now let's get into the real riz, bro. Let's get into the real game of this, bro. Understand that, you know what I mean, approaching is just one thing, you know what I mean, but understand the game is more than just approach. I told you you're going to have to cold approach. Understand this, too. Some dudes that's ugly, dudes that's unattractive, they think, oh, well, I'm unattractive. I can't afford to, to use Cam's tactics Right. And by tactics, I mean, I can't afford to, 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 to not text her every second of the day. I can't afford to not spoil her and give her what she wants. I can't afford to not listen to what she wants. What I need, what I'm here to tell you is if you ugly, bro, you can't afford to not take my advice. You cannot afford to spoil her. You can't afford to be, to, to listen, you can't afford to be a simp. The only thing worse than a, uh, uh, than a dude that's ugly is an ugly simp. That's just a, <laughs> you don't want to be that i'm telling you right now bro like you 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 need to be on game if you uh, the more unattractive you are the more game you need dog the more cold-hearted and ruthless you got to be bro you can't be buying her flowers and and and, and cupping thoughts and all of this if you ugly bro you know what i'm saying like you can't be you can't be listening to what you say and allowing leeway and, and allowing her to waste your time and money and attention and validation and resources you feel me you can't allow all that if you want to track it bro you got to be on your game you got to be on your p's and q's boy you better be on your p's and q's boy because that's all you have your game is the only leverage you have you can't leverage your looks you know what I'm saying? And uh, unless you got money, you have no real leverage other than your game, bro. Your mouthpiece is the only thing saving you, dog. So that mouthpiece, that game that you got, that text game, that approach game, that's all that you, you, you better, you better hone them skills, boy. You better hone them skills, boy. You feel me? So, um, you know what I'm saying? So please don't be a, a, a simp. You know what I'm saying? Just please don't. Have some self, you know what I mean? Just because you unattractive don't mean that you ain't valuable. It don't mean that you don't bring nothing to the table. There's other things that you could do, especially if you're working on yourself, especially if you're going somewhere in life, you got a plan, whatever, you're making money. So understand, let's get back to the approaching, right? You approach the chick, dog. Understand that, you know, let me go over game real quick because a lot of y'all may not know what that is really. When you approach the chick and you're cold approaching, so you're already at a disadvantage. So you want to make sure that your body language is intact. You want to make sure that you're making direct eye contact, good eye contact. Your body is facing towards her. You're calm. You're not super duper nervous. Remember, we're not putting women on pedestals no more, right? We're not doing any of that anymore, okay, buddy? All right. So, you know what I mean? You're talking to her. You're facing you're facing towards her, whatever the case may be. And understand that as you're talking to her, you want to pick up on her body language, too. You know what I mean? You want to gauge how interested she is. Well, Cam, what do I say? Cam, what do I say? You can say anything, bro. Let's just say you out. You know what I mean? You could be like, oh, my name is so-and-so. What's your name? Okay, cool. You from around here? Are you from around here? Okay, cool. I feel like I've seen you before. Yeah, you go to this high school, huh? Oh, no, you don't go there? Oh, so you stay around there. Oh, where? Hey, you ever been to uh, the Canes around there on uh, on Fifth Street? Oh, no, you ain't never been to that Canes? How about this? I'll tell you what. Next week, let's go to the Canes together, and we're going to see how good this Canes is. Let's see what it's hitting for. You down? Okay, for sure. Go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and give you my number so that we can link up. You feel me? Like, it's a simple conversation like that. You see how easily? I literally just came up with that on, on, on top of the dome. Off top of the dome. You like, you feel me? Like, it could be as simple as that. It could be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be some kind of crazy. Like, listen, bro. I don't agree with, like, pickup artists that's like, oh, you got to say this, it is, it is. It's really not that difficult. You know what I'm saying? You talk to her so that you can get her contact info so that you can link up at a later time. Is that easy? Is that simple? 
You know what I'm saying? Now, now what else is game? Um, when you when you texting her, you feel me? Never be too available. Only text her really to link up, right? Save the deep, long conversations for when you are in person together. You feel me? Stuff like that. These are the type. These are the examples of things that you have to be on top of if you an ugly dude, bro. You got to be on top of the game, bro. And don't expect these chicks to come to you, bro. Don't ever like 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 that's just how it is, bro. You can't expect these chicks to come to you, bro. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. And go where you're wanted. That is the number one. Key. I feel like that's probably the number one key of this video, man. Go where you are wanted because looks are subjective. And when you find a chick that has some interest in you, dog, understand it. run game. Run game. Heavy. Run heavy game, bro. And have confidence. Confidence is key. Confidence, 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 confidence is key, dog. There's a lot of dudes out here that's really objectively unattractive, but they say have so much confidence, right? That they honestly they 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 don't have they don't struggle with chicks because they just got that much confidence they just got that much swag dude you know what i'm saying bring other things to the table even you know what i'm saying you an ugly dude all right well then you need to go get your money up go stack your bread up yeah ugly dude all right well you need to go be go d1 bro something like that you know what i'm saying you can't leverage your looks but anyway, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. If I missed anything, let me know. You feel me? This video is already mad long. Love you and I'm out of here, dog. Peace.